Hits 105.5. That was Avril Lavigne with Smile. Good morning. Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. Before that, I played I Love Your Smile by Shanice because it is Share a Smile Day and someone that makes me smile is Kino and Kino is on the phone right now. Good morning. How are you, Kino? Good morning. You make me smile, oh, too. Oh, yeah. It's Share a Smile Day. That's one of the national days today. <laughs> well, I love it. It's important to share a smile. So it I hope is. everybody does that today. Yeah, it is. I used to tell the kids on the bus, share smiles, not germs. That was way before the COVID happened. <laughs> but they, they would look at me yeah, funny. I'm well, like, just share your smile. More people should listen to you. <laughs> exactly. Share just share a smile, smile. not yes, germs. That's right. That's well, right. let's get into... Oh, my notes just, okay, here we go. Let's get into what's going on. Um, So I'll I'll get the sad news out of the way. You know, when people say, I have good news and bad news, which Mm -hmm. one do you want first? I always say I want the bad news first so that we can end on a happy note. Yes. I want to end with good news. Mm -hmm. Not that I just want to get to the negative stuff right away. No, I want to get it out of the way. That's right. Um, we had um, somebody pass away in Hollywood today. Richard Lu- I mean, not today, this week, sorry. Richard Lewis of Curve Your Enthusiasm passed away at age 76. So um, thoughts and hugs and prayers for his family and friends. Um, rest in peace. I didn't watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, so I'm not really familiar with the show. Like, I've seen it, mm-hmm. but not in detail. So anyway, rest in peace there. Amy Schumer. Okay. She came out saying that she was diagnosed with Cushing syndrome, yeah. which I had never heard of. These celebrities get these conditions, and I, I learned so much. Mm-hmm. Like Celine Dion with stiff person syndrome. Like I don't know any of this stuff till I hear it in Hollywood. But anyway, so Cushing syndrome um, is a condition where your body has too much of the stress hormone and so anyway one of the symptoms is having like a really round face they call it moon face so that's how people were making comments about amy schumer's appearance changing and you know how social media can be it can be so cool Mm -hmm. people were making all these comments and you know and she came out saying i i was diagnosed with cushing syndrome and you know she issued some kind of statement to the effect of please back off and leave me alone and mind your business. So anyway, um, hoping Amy Schumer gets better soon. And finally, I just want to end with something I'm super excited about. Okay. Ryan Gosling is singing I'm Just Kin <laughs> at the Oscars. <laughs> the Oscars will air on Sunday, March 10th on ABC, and they've changed the hour. They've pushed it back so it begins at 7 a.m. I mean 7 a.m. Oh my god. I would I would not be watching at 7 a.m. <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> it begins at 7 p.m. instead of 8 p.m. Um, so that's good because the Oscars always run long and then it ends mm-hmm. up being really late so they're starting it earlier. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, and it's hosted by Jimmy Kimmel so I think that'll be hilarious too. So um, so looking forward to the Oscars. I'm really looking forward to I'm Just Kidding yes. by Ryan Gosling, <laughs> performed by Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I just <laughs> saw that movie, Kino. I just saw it the other night, the Barbie movie. I had not seen oh, it. Oh, you're ahead of me. I have not seen it. Oh, it's really good. And when he does that, I'm Just Ken in the movie, it's really good. I didn't realize how good Ryan Gosling could sing. He's good. He sang a oh, couple he of was, times. Um, at La La Land. See, I haven't seen that. Yeah. I need to watch that because I love Emma oh, Stone. Oh, yeah. That, I did watch that one. And believe it or not, it wasn't my idea. It was my husband's idea. Really? Um, that one won a bunch of Oscars some years ago. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, no, that was uh, that was a great movie. Yeah, so he's very talented. He is. So. Yeah, I was very impressed. I was like, whoa, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just Ken. So while we're talking about Ken, and I know I'm over my time, but I'll You're just fine. say this real quick. <laughs> One of the Ken dolls in the Barbie movie was actually the same guy who played Bob Marley in um, the Bob Marley movie that's really? in theaters right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. I oh, can't think of his real that. name. Kingston, I think, is his first name. But um, some Kingly, 
King, King something with King mm-hmm. in it. But anyway, yes. Uh, so, yeah, it's the same guy. So he, I saw an interview where he talked about how he was working on both films at the same time. <laughs> so he would end the shot for Barbie and then go off set, mm-hmm. study, and prepare for Bob Marley. So. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, Shows that's, a, that's like a switch. As an yeah. actor. And as usual, these stories and more are available on the website, hits1055.com. You're now in the know with Keno Jones. Well, thank you so much, Keno. There's, there's two things that I will add. Richard Lewis went to Ohio State University. I knew he had an Ohio connection. But yeah, that's he graduated from Ohio State. Nice. Yeah. A Buckeye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, rest in peace, yeah. Richard Lewis, for sure. And he had a show with Jamie Lee Curtis back in the 90s, and I remember watching it, and I, I loved it because I love Jamie Lee Curtis, and he was really good at it. But, yeah, that was sad. And Curb Your Enthusiasm, yeah. I've seen it a couple of times. I'm going to have to watch it now more. Yeah, that's yeah. how I feel. I don't know why I'm like that. I, I always appreciate too. people when they're gone, and mm-hmm. that's, that's not good. But Yeah, and then... Speaking about Amy Schumer and then the hateful comments on Facebook, I just saw this thing about Julia Roberts, and she had posted this picture. Her niece, Emma Roberts, spent the night, and they were eating breakfast and playing cards, and they posted it because she was like, it's a, it was a beautiful morning. I got to spend time with my niece. She posted it, and then people came out and said how awful Julia Roberts looked and how she, I mean, they just tore her apart and then people started don't be mean that she goes there was a whole fight broke out over one post and she said wow. you know it hurt my feelings she just admitted it hurt my feelings i know i'm not supposed to get my feelings hurt but they took one picture that i thought was a beautiful moment and tore it apart and yeah. so it just really yeah. hit me i was like people Julia can be Roberts. so cool mm-hmm Yeah, and so with Amy Schumer, she had to come out and say, okay, I've got this issue. Thanks, guys, for, you know, pointing it out. I already know, but seriously, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox now. Anyway. (laughs) Hey, I'm on the soapbox. I'm on that soapbox (laughs) every day. Um, All right. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your week and a happy Friday. Happy Fantastic Friday, and we'll check in with you next week. Thank you. You too. All right. Thank you. Coming up next, because in the Barbie movie, they play, or they sing, Ryan Gosling sings Matchbox 20. So now this song is stuck in my head, so I got to play it. It's Push by Matchbox 20. It's Hits 105.5.